Welcome to Relationship Nuggets, episode one. My name is Coach Martin, and this is where I respond to questions on relationships. So, you could be single and you are desiring to settle down with a man or a woman into marriage. You could be in a relationship already, but that relationship isn't leading anywhere or isn't leading to the destination you forethought when you first met. You could be in marriage also, and this marriage is like, no, this is totally the opposite of what I expected this marriage turned out to. So you could be in whichever stage. I want you to know that I've got your back. I come on this platform with 13 years marriage experience. I've also learned so much about relationships. I've learned basic principles that I've applied in my life. One of the basic principles I talk about so much in my coaching practice is uh, the fact that it takes an individual to succeed in a relationship for the relationship to succeed. So in subsequent videos, you'll get to know so much about uh, this principle. But in today's episode, let's look at this issue here. So no woman goes into man's life with a bad intention. It's only the man's behavior that changes the woman's life. So this is a woman expressing, of course, a statement on why they left this man or why that relationship didn't work. And uh, I'm glad because I encourage people to express their thoughts, their opinions, their emotions, their feelings, and censure. So basically, if this represents what's is in your heart it's a thumbs up for me it's a thumbs up no relationships can begin or can succeed if it begins on a platform of misrepresentation or uh, false you know imagery or basically if it's not based on um, the authenticity of a person now a relationship is a formation by two individuals. I want you to keep your attention on the term individual. Any relationship brings two individuals together. One individual will bring success into the relationship. The other one will bring success into the relationship and guess what? this relationship is going to succeed there's no magic there's no rocket science there's nothing that you know we can use to explain the reason why that relationship succeeded it's only based on these two individuals in another relationship one individual brings failure the other one brings failure and what do you get a failed relationship there's no magic there's no rocket science there's nothing really that is out of the obvious now in subsequent videos we will dig deep into what failure and success means in terms of the individual that come to form this relationship so that said and done in this uh, episode here uh, the lady uh, proposes that she came ready for the marriage she came ready for the relationship she came ready for the success of that relationship but the man's behavior changed her midstream changed her focus or basically shattered her dreams of having a successful relationship with that man with, with that man and that is perfect but again if you follow that road Again, you as a woman, you'll be questioned, like, why did you get into a relationship that you knew is not going to succeed? Or what stopped you from digging deep to realize what you came to realize two years down the line, three years down the line? Now, of course, we know the complexity of human beings. Like, what really defines a person is never on the surface. It's never on the dressing on the style of the hair 
you know it's never out there it's so deep it's so embedded deeply in a grain but the question is is there no way for someone to project uh, the future while in your present can't you project the relationship you are now experiencing in five years to come in two years to come I believe that ability is in each one of us but it's costly it's not ordinary like it's something that is going to cost you a lot because you're going to be called names you're going to be um, told you're so uh, selective you're going to be pressured into it like you're wasting time men and women are coming and you uh, all of them are passing by and all that stuff so like very few people can stand their ground and uh, um, use their present to project into the future and use that projected image to a certain way that this relationship here is capable of reaching that spot but now the bottom line is this it takes two individuals or it takes an individual for a relationship to succeed i've got to ask you this question what are you bringing into this relationship are you bringing success or you're bringing failure if you're bringing success i don't think you need to be worried because again if you bring success why will you accept failure why like seriously why why will you get into a relationship that is already mismatched like why you do get into a relationship and the incompatibility conscient is so high like seriously it's down to you as an individual so this question it's not so much about the other person's behavior it's so much about you so much about your belief system so much about your value system what do you value in a relationship you know you you, you can't like assume things are going to get better with him than they are already like we have been given the ability to sense danger even the first day you meet this man or woman there's some sense of you know irritability or like something is not really fine with this guy but you know what you, what do we do we shut up that voice we blur that signal we like discredit it we even call it the voice of the devil for christians eh? and then you go ahead you marry this man and guess what it turns out to be an animal an animal you had already met now the, the term animal is figurative it doesn't mean that uh, that is really becoming an animal but basically it's about uh, their behavior turning into something else so this question this post it brings you down to this principle I'm talking about the individual participation principle what do you bring into that relationship will determine whether that relationship will succeed or fail if you bring success you're going to insist on your partner being a success also or on them bring success onto the table if they bring something else at that particular time it is important to call a spade a spade not a big spoon and decide well you're good enough to be a friend but not good enough to be a lover right yeah got it thank you